Hey guys, I'm Zach Phoenix here. I just want to respond to Ball That Games. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about how to kind of, if you guys don't know, basically the Australian government has this tight chokehold on gaming, you know? And brother, what you need to do is kind of educate them. And I'm going to show you a good way to do it. Uh, one thing you want to do is you want to, A, you want you need like three things first, first of all, right? And these three things are going to carry you through. One, you're going to need to do, it's going to be a lot of work, man. So, like, seriously, if you're not interested in a lot of work, you might want to just, like, turn off this video and just walk away and just deal with the situation. Seriously. You know, you just might want to have to deal with the fact that you are not going to be able to get a lot of good games. Now, if you want, um, if you definitely want to go ahead and um, make your Australia a better place, then you might want to listen. Number one, you're going, to, you're going to want to get a group of people together, you know, a good group of people, okay? And you're going to need a leader. I advise you to be the leader. Now, in this particular thing, you're going to want to go ahead and put down your real name and your call sign, your handle, your name, your whatever you use online, okay? Now, with that, too, uh, I recommend you go ahead and edit your channel to make sure that you're removing all of the um, controversial videos that you have. Uh, just a thought. Uh, no, seriously, you're going to want to do that. And you're definitely going to do that, okay? Now, here's the thing. Um, you need to make sure the group of people that you have, if they are do have handles, you want to make sure that they are not extremely, like, they are not PS3 Storm. Let me put it that way. If they are PS3 Storm, then, yeah, you might want, want to do that. You know, PS3 Storm is going to make you look bad. Seriously. The guy is an idiot. But, um, let's continue. No, seriously. Seriously. If... If his online thing is any representation of who he is in real life, then wow. But anyway, um, let's keep going. So that's the one thing you're going to do, okay? Now from that, um, the second thing you want to do is your research. You're going to want to find your research. There are plenty of research out there on the internet telling you about how you know gaming has been proven not to be a factor in violent crimes or things of that nature. You know, there's been a lot of research on that, uh, on that particular um, subject. You need to go ahead and get as much as that as possible as ammunition, okay? Okay, and that's those are two things. Now, three, you're gonna need another ammunition called petitions, okay? That's basically what you're like right now. You're fighting a war, is what you're doing right now, okay? Now, the first thing with a group, that's your army, okay? That's your main army right there. Now, after you have your main army, what is also in the war? What does the army need? Ammunition. So that's what the research is for. Okay, that's what the research is for. Now, after you get the research, what else does the army need in order to fight a war? Allies. That's also what the petition is for. There's a, a website that used to be out there called Online Petition or Petition Online. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's out there. Or actually, you might want to make one your own self by going. You can do. I believe you can do it on Google Docs. It's going to take a little bit of time to um, put it together, but I think you can do it on Google Docs. Basically, what it is is this: you're going to want to do a, a petition, uh, make a petition. Um, that's going to kind of list everyone who's supporting this. Now, I saw, uh, this is the reason why I'm like, wow, this guy's an idiot. I saw um, PS3 Storm's um, petition, and it was the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. First of all, all he wanted you to do is subscribe to a channel, and B, he said only Australians can do it. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. What you want to do is this, okay? You're going to want to have um, a petition with a list of people, okay? Now, first of all, it's going to have a, the petition's going to be like this. It's going to have a multiple list. The first list and the biggest list should be Australians only. All Australians who believe in this cause, okay? Number two, what you want to do is this. You want to have a second one with um, Americans and, you know, Americans who believe in this cause. Another one, you know, England people who live in, who um, believe in this cause. You know, Japan, Japanese people who, live in, um, who believe in this cause. The list goes down and down. You want to have them all separated. So that way, it's, basically, you want to make it as easy as possible for these people to believe in this cause, okay? And that's exactly what you have. Now you, now you have your army. You have your ammunition, and now you have your allies. You are ready to fight a war. Now, how you go ahead and fight your war is the other problem. It's a, you know, you've got to be strategic. Uh, you've got to be tactical about it, basically. Now, here's the thing. What you want to do is um, you're going to want to go ahead and talk to your lower government first, okay? Talk to your lower government. Uh, let them educate you. Let them know your cause. Let them know that you really believe in this. Let them see all of your petitions and everything. Let them know that this is what you believe, you know? And this is what a lot of scientists believe. You know, let them know you have some backup. Let him become your ally too. You know, let him help you walk you through that. You might actually want to go ahead and get some, you know, you might have to get some lawyers too. But I'm telling you right now, if you can go ahead and get... Um, your local government, like, I don't know how your local government works, but if you can get your local government on your side, you know, let them know that you're going to need lawyers, you know, 
can you help us with lawyers you know to go ahead and fight the government so we can go ahead and get this what you're trying to do right now is even though this is just gaming a lot of people think this is just about gaming this is not really about gaming it is but it's not you're kind of opening your country up to more a broad and freer ability to do what they desire you know um the stuff in um stuff that already costs a lot of money so you might as well go ahead and do your best i do believe chapchon is already on i think he's australian too right i think he um you're going to want to have him on your team you know a lot of people you're going to want to have on your team you know and believe me man believe me believe me um ps3 store thinks he knows um he knows partners we know i know a lot more partners than him a lot more partners than him okay believe me his all his or he knows partners believe me he don't know shit okay believe me i will you know you put that petition up you do it that way i guarantee you i will have a lot of partners out there backing you up okay without a doubt i will make sure that swoozy drops a video for you i'll make sure that i um i justine drops a video for you i will make sure that a lot of people definitely um help you out in this particular situation okay a lot of people who have influence within gaming okay I'm being honest with you. You know, I definitely believe this. No matter what anyone believes, no matter what anyone thinks about uh, Infinite Retro or Ball Night Games, or whatever, that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. We don't care. That's not what the situation is. The situation is allowing other gamers. We're all brothers in the um, you know, all brothers in the controller, basically. You know, we're all brothers in the digital age, and that's what we need to do. We need to back each other up. Damn all that. Damn all that bullshit. You know, we all need to back each other up. Put the petition out, man. If you need help putting the petition out, let me know. I will go ahead and help you do the petition myself. Okay? I will help you go ahead and do the petition myself. We will get it done. I will go ahead and talk to all the partners I know, all the big YouTubers I know, and I know a lot of them. Okay? I've spoken to a lot of them. All the ones, no, damn them, you know, the gaming YouTube community. I'm talking about the ones who go beyond that. I will speak to each and every one of them and to go ahead and make sure that they go ahead and give us the, um, give you rather, give your country, you know, give all of us, man, as just gamers in general, you know, the respect that we deserve as well as, you know, the support that we deserve. Like I said before, this has nothing, this is about Australia, true, but there's more to stake in here. A lot of people are just seeing it as, you know, oh, oh, Infinite Retro. And this is not, this is beyond Infinite Retro, guys. This is about gaming, you know. This is a big step in terms of how we're going to go ahead and um, go beyond the looking glass of what we have. You know, a lot of times we get a lot of sl um, a lot of slack and a lot of crap because you know we are gamers and you know it's tough for us to be able to set the record straight, and we need to do it. And we need to do it now. Okay, okay, believe me. Okay, I would, I can go ahead. Um, I have. You know some friends here at thegamefanatics.com. You know I got. You no, know, we got a lot of friends out there, guys. We're gonna use that to our advantage. Infinite Retro, Black, uh, Ball Night Games. Let us know when you're ready to do this, man. Let me know. You know I'm gonna have you 100%. You know, but I'm letting you know right now. You know the legwork will have to be yours. Like by legwork, I mean you're gonna have to literally get out there and talk to people. Let them know. You know, show them, show them the research. Say you know all we want is our freedom. You know, our freedom to be able to game like we want to game. That's all, you know. Let them know. And you're going to have to literally do that there and do the legwork, man. Like, seriously. You're going to have to go out there and maybe spend a day just going door to door to door to door to door. That might be the case, you know. And you're going to want out there and get those big names out there in Australia. You know, I don't know the big names in Australia, but that's something that you want to do. Go talk to your lower government, you know. Say, listen, sir, you know, we believe in, you know, that... You know, the hold that the government has over, you know, our gaming is not right, you know. And this should go, let them know it goes beyond gaming. Let them know that you're serious about this. You know, if you keep trying, you keep trying to be persistent, they will sign. They will become an ally of yours, you know. Have them help you get more into the government. Reach the top government, man. There are steps to take. And, you know, the lower government is the first step. You can continuously flow up those steps. Eventually, you will find paradise. But you know what? You will find Nirvana, but it takes those first steps to do it, you know? Now, I can only do so much over the internet, you know? I can do a lot, you know, in terms of names. I can help you on the allies part, you know, the third part, excuse me. Nose itching here. 
I can help you on the allies part. That's true. I can help you on that one. However, I cannot help you on the you know localized Australia part. That part is up to you. And that, my friend, that's the army part. That's the first one. Remember, army ammunition and then allies. The army part is the biggest part because it's you know you got to be able to fight on your own turf, okay? And after that, you have believe me, the ammunition is easy. It's all over the internet, you know. Allies is easy. They're all over the internet, and there's a lot of people who will support you. You know, dead serious, you know. And um, I know, what did, what did he say? Uh, who was that? Um, hold on a second. Give me one second here. I, one, some, one person actually said that. Um, here he is. Cuban Beast. Cuban Beast, um, let me tell you something. I'll give him a sign. Don't even worry about that. He going to sign, too. Don't even try that. You know? All I'm saying is this, guys. This is bigger. Even as We're starting in Australia, guys. But this is bigger than Australia. Okay? It really is. You know? By, by doing this, guys, we're going to open the floodgates. You know? For us to get a lot more power. You know? This is, this is what Truth Set You Free was talking about. Yup, this is exactly what Truth Setting You Free was talking about. I see that now. I gotta go to work, guys. Truth. Hit me up tonight. We need to talk. You guys have a good night. Zap out.